Y2K has got to be one of the most misunderstood events in all of human history. You probably think of it as just this one little quirky moment where everybody freaked out over nothing, but the truth is, the concerns behind it were real. Now, the fears behind Y2K stem from the fact that computers would store four-digit dates as two-digit numbers, so 99 would be 1999. So there was this worry that once we rolled over to the year 2000, computers wouldn't be able to tell the difference between 2000 and 1900, because both of those dates would be stored as zero zero. Why does it matter? Well, imagine you just go to check your flight schedule and suddenly find out your plane's not taking off at all because it's the year 1900 and planes haven't been invented yet. You just take out a loan and suddenly you find you have a hundred years worth of interest tacked onto it. Hey, any payment you're going to try to make at all isn't going to be able to be processed because the thing you're paying towards does not exist. Now, sure, there was a lot of media-driven frenzy behind this that was definitely unwarranted. Some people thought planes were going to fall out of the sky, that cars were going to burst into flames the moment the clock struck midnight. Some people were selling things like microwaves labeled Y2K safe as if microwaves cared what year it was at all. But there were genuine fears behind this that could have had catastrophic consequences, particularly for the financial sector, had we not done something. Now you might wonder to yourself, okay, well then why didn't anything really happen on Y2K at all? That's because we were prepared. Millions of people spent a decade worth of man hours working around the clock to try and prevent this. A total of $300 billion went into what was effectively a global effort, and it was successful. Now there were some minor things that still did still happen on the day itself. A video store in New York charged a man $92,000 in late fees because they thought he was returning a movie a hundred years late. But by and large, we were able to stop any of the severe consequences from happening at all, which is interesting because it means the only reason people don't take Y2K seriously now is because we took it so seriously.